Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. It was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the Brain Eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, I've been looking forward to meeting Adjutant Aconte's favorite gun. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel, least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. You're a compassionate person, Captain. And you're right. Halcyon Helen was a talented woman. She had a gift for transforming her art into wealth. You would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Please, Lou. Sublight Underground is built on discretion. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give her the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. First sensible thing I've heard all day. Oh, uh, my apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was unprofessional of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You are Adjutant Akande's most reliable freelancer. If the second most powerful person in Halcyon can depend on you, then I'd like to think we can depend on you. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. 
I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Take... Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is... Watch out. This place is half sublight thugs and half top rungers on vacation. Both are dangerous. Can we talk? I can't believe Miss Helen's gone. Feels like it's going against the laws of nature somehow. I used to watch Helen's serials. She'd fall into mortal peril every couple episodes, but she always lived in the end. Breathtaking. Have you looked over the edge of the complex yet? Just watch the clouds turning? It's like an ocean without end. Eridanos and Olympus are the two biggest planets in Halcyon. King and queen of the sky. Looking out to the horizon, I get this feeling that we're... in the company of royalty. Eridanos is a hundred times the mass of Terra Two, Eight hundred times the volume. Ten times the diameter. We're flying through the tiniest layer of habitable atmosphere. Sometimes I can't believe how small my world used to be. My horizons were about as wide as the walls of Edgewater. Yeah. 
<laughs> We've come a long way. Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head, Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. You were indeed. It's the penthouse suite, the best room in the whole Grand Colonial. It was actually Helen's not too long ago. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. We should ask if they're comping the minibar. This might take a while if you get me. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Not particularly, but I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. I imagine the admin briefed you about Helen's part in the Spectrum Brown unveiling. Too bad about the postponement. Not so terrible as Helen's murder, but still a crying shame. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice mutually beneficial event. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. <laughs> oh my stars. This is the hotel? I only ever see in a place like this in periodicals. I wish I'd worn my muddy boots in the jack. I'll bet you ten bits this is all just some sort of publicity stunt. The crime scene's awaiting, Inspect- Can't believe something like this could happen in my hotel. When I found her, I was just hoping she had a- You didn't ask! Anyway, I'm sure you've got questions. Sure, I'd take into checking the barroom every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just to make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five hour sleep period. Tell ya, thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since. And hey, now I can finally see smells. Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was, uh, practicing for the unveiling? What? No! Just cause I found the corpse doesn't mean I made her a corpse. I was in shift all day. Besides, I love telling cereals. Well, the old ones anyway. The newer episodes are hot junk on a warm day. Sure. 
course I did. I just told you I found the body. Oh, wait. Uh, you mean when she... Uh, no, no, of course I didn't. Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. Honestly, you're more than a little right. <laughs> I've been burning at the bridges to share my theories. Day of her death, I saw Helen leave the hotel premises of the profit of profitability. And didn't see her come back. A little on the suspicious side, I think. Seemed especially strange, seeing how, as far as I was aware, the two didn't get on. Uh, yep. Give seminars on increasing profit margins and the like. Can't... I hope... Everyone's got theory... Black hole birdies disappeared, you know. Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see... Constable Maria Keane. Dr. Goodnight, ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on? Are we finished with the pleasantries? There's something I'm excited to show you. What body? Oh, that. Goodness, no. This is far more... Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. I'm so glad you asked. Allow me to explain. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Oh, goodness. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but uh, you'll want to peer into the... set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This unit's features include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the grand ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. I'm all for taking pointless risks, but that's just disgusting. Footprint is a tailor-made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Excellent observation, Inspector. The following compounds have been detected. Purpleberry residue, nitrogen rich fertilizer, common grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards located not far from the Grand Colonio. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant check in with the concierge.
Can we chat? I always wanted to see Eridanos. Yeah? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. This is a bottle of unreleased Rizzo's product. Helen appears to have attempted to use it to spell something as she expired, but all she managed was a sticky bee. This hypothesis is plausible, but requires additional information. Now calculating likelihood of Halcyon Helen using her final moments to endorse Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. Low to moderate likelihood. Correct. Bertie Blackhole Holcomb is a registered guest at the Grand Colonial Hotel. Accessing guest database B. The Grand Colonial Hotel is proud to serve the following VIPs. Bertie, comma, Black Hole. Burbage 3001. This evidence has been recorded for later reference. Now generating pre- I knew I should have gotten her autograph when I had the chance. You'd think these people have never seen a corpse before. I'm sorry, ma'am, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. The last guest left her bel- Simply call the elevator in the lo- My apology. All right, my supervisor just walked out of earshot. Some folks just don't understand the importance of gossip. About who? Ah, uh, Birdie. Is he bigger than he is dumb, or dumber than he is big? I have a bet with a friend. Not sure we'll ever get it to pay out. Birdie used to be Helen's beau, though he isn't anymore and not just because she's dead. If I had a million bits, I... Her deal? Not making them. I'd laugh at my own comment, but everyone knows there's no bigger joke than the prophet of profitability herself. Didn't you hear Helen's interview? That woman is the definition of humbuggery. I mean, Spencer Woolrich has taken several of her productivity seminars and look where it got him. Don't waste your time. You know, out of everyone here, I'm not much of an aether. And Helen always had a crowd. Hmm. Now that you met... It seemed as if she was determined about something. If looks could kill, he'd ha See, I'd bet we're the only- If you leave woolly cow milk out, it turns to curds. Leave the curds out. Either he's in denial, or he knew Helen would- That's a- It's certainly- Please, allow- who would be interested in a staff-only area? Most folks never ask about the sewers beneath a Rizzo's plant, either. Of interest to your investigation. But I'm sorry, Inspector, I'm not author- You'll have to find a- Twice the size of the next biggest room. Best to enjoy it while you can, Inspector. Also, please inform me if Woolridge- Most certainly. You can hardly walk three feet without bumping into a top- if you're sh Hello there, my inordinately what authorized Next stop
Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. Halcyon Helen was an important... Halcyon Helen was more than a character. She was a brand. Stop. Please warn me before you provide me with unsolicited ideas. Back to the matter at hand. Your discretion is appreciated. Here, I'm granting you access through the gates. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly. I agree with the sentiment behind your snide remark. Unfortunately, the Piraeus spaceport, you have a lead. There is such a thing as too clean. We ought to break open a few bottles and have some fun. Make a mess. Live a little. Sam's special inspector add-on includes a magnifying glass to sleuth out the germs and parasites that other cleaning products leave behind. There's, um, there's no room service, right? This room ain't so bad. I could get used to this. The opulence of this place is stifling. Hi there, Inspector. Good. Now, I... Oh, so... What are the... To the lobby, we go... I was thinking about going for a swim, but I don't want to come out stinking like a dead rat. A sudden death knockout court. It's pretty much just a toss ball for folks who don't want to get their hands dirty. Heard, but we're in the middle of a lockdown. No one's supposed to be coming or going. The, doc the security guard has experienced premature expiration. I doubt Rizzo's would ever shed a tear over him. <laughs> <laughs> 